So the first through the four domains, like you know how I said like each of the domains is like a window going in. I also think that the fourth domain completes a window. So you have consciousness, which is your ability to separate knowing and the known. And then you have the two hemispheres. So you're not stuck in just over arousal, which first registers in the right hemisphere, but you have the ability to narrate and to separate from that and to, to self-talk. And then what happens is you have both and you have a robust corpus callosum and you can calm your nervous system and then you have the ability to recall memories and to modify memories. And when you have these four, it's like lock on. And this is kind of like, a, to me, this is a, um, a human being whose brain can take it to another dimension. Because once you have one memory and the skills that are required, and I talk about in the memory class, how what it takes to become conscious and what it takes to have memory are very interrelated. And then what happens is when you get to the fifth domain, just think of a bunch of boxes. That's all your, that's all your memories coming together. So this is like boxes trying to come together, which are all your memories all coming together into almost another dimension, which is the story of your life. So this is what we're going to go. We're about to take a break. We're going to go into the, we're going to speed it up. I, I won't keep us for too long, um, but this is the fifth domain and you have many memories and much nervous system arousal, but you contain it in that swimming pool, which is the third domain, and your story contains it. Your story is so crucial for integration. And then we have what's called state integration, which seems to just come out of left field and not relate to anything in particular, but the truth is that we have hundreds or thousands of states, and what we want is we want them to come together in some kind of integrated whole. So that's state integration. A state is just a temporary condition. Someone is water fasting right now. Their state is that they're going to be, they're not going to have enough glucose in their brain to recall everything, which is totally normal. And that state will pass. And then the, the next one after state is relationships. So I said, it's like, if you're a human being, it's like suddenly you get put on a soccer field. And there's like a whole bunch of human beings. So again, it's almost like another dimension. That's the seventh domain. And all those skills from one to six are present not only inside you, but in other people and they interplay. And you can see how it jumps up in complexity. And that's the seventh. And then the eighth is you have that soccer field and the game. And the game has a beginning and a middle and an end. And it terminates. And that's like the game of life. And that's temporal integration, which is time. And it's about in uncertainty and uh, mortality. So that things just kind of disappear in the end. And those are the nine domains. We're going to go through the other ones probably pretty quickly when, after we take this break. Um, but identity integration, which is what the end is today, is that we are aware of all these. And Dan Siegel created it later, after he created the eight, because he realized that there was a certain subset of people who had achieved the eight domains and were integrating them, and it led them to have this muy integrated sense of identity. This is where you have all the other eight domains, and then, like I said, Star Trek, when you turn on the warp speed drive, that would be what would happen. You would have all these others you had you would have thought faced death straightforwardly and you maintain a feeling state in the face of the pain of living and that would be achieving the eighth domain and that would make you be more clear about your sense of purpose obviously part of my sense of purpose is teaching about the interpersonal neurobiology because i'm so passionate about it and so knowing that i only have so much time to teach these moments of teaching are super meaningful to me. And that's why when I hear your feedback, it really, it means my purpose has been met. Um, so having purpose, finding purpose, whatever that is for you, is crucial. And a person in the ninth domain dwells in and is aware of their purpose more because they're more integrated. And that's just the natural outpouring of a brain that's more integrated.